This is Adam with Ceramic Pro, and today we're gonna clean a Tesla. Hey guys, so we just made a mess out of my own Tesla, and now I'm gonna show you some easy steps on how you can clean your vehicle just like this at home. So let's get started with the tools and the supplies that you'll need to do an at-home cleaning. So let's start here. We've got a shop vac. You can find this at any major big box home improvement retailer. They cost a couple hundred bucks, so if you're only gonna use it once, it's not a wise investment, but if you're gonna use it over and over again, go ahead and pick one up. Then, of course, we've got microfiber towels, which are essential for almost all car cleaning, and then three spray-on liquids. So here, we have a general all-purpose cleaner, and at any auto parts store, you'll probably find one of these for anywhere from 10 to $15. Look for all-purpose cleaner. Then, like this car, we have a devoted leather cleaner. Also, again, anywhere from, say, $8 to $15 for a good leather cleaner. Then, we have a uh, spray-on, wipe-off interior dressing. This is typically for doors, not for leather. And then, uh, your standard interior leather cream conditioner. So all told with these products here, you might be around 50 bucks, say, to interior detail your car. And then some more simple tools. You have a scrub brush, great for cleaning leather, great for cleaning plastics, and some detail brushes. So let's get started with the process. So using the shop vac, of course, that's gonna do a lot of the main dirty work. Just flip it on. So after starting vacuuming, I've now noticed two problems. Number one, I've got some hard to reach areas there that I can't quite get to. So that leads me to two other attachments. One like this, and then another for extended hard to reach areas. The other thing that I noticed, if you get up close here, the area I vacuumed still has a lot of dirt. And we'll get to that in a minute. So adding another attachment. Now you'll see as I open the door here, there's still areas I couldn't reach with this attachment. So now, switch to another attachment and get the even harder to reach areas. So now I've tried multiple attachments to get all the hard to reach areas underneath the seat. And this is where it starts to separate with what you can do at home versus what a professional can do for you. So for the truly impossible to reach areas, or virtually impossible to reach areas, you're going to need another tool. So this is a compressed air gun, and it shoots air. So now if I travel through like this, so this is all dirt and debris that was hiding underneath your seat that you couldn't see and the crevice tool could not get. So now you have to come back and vacuum this area one more time. So we just finished vacuuming out the car. And you can see how that was just the beginning to start to get it to look somewhat clean. But now we still have to clean the plastics and the leather before we can start protecting it. And again, you have to know which product is for plastic and which product is for leather so that you don't damage your leather kit. So we have an all-purpose cleaner. This one's specifically for plastic. And then again, we have your leather cleaner. So first things first, let's clean the plastics. Your best, uh, best practice is to spray on the towel before spraying direct. And always do a test spot whenever cleaning any part of your interior with a chemical. And what I mean by test spot is you'll look for an inconspicuous spot like this, wipe it, and as long as the towel doesn't turn black or gray or blue or whatever the original material color was, then you can proceed. And if you really want it to be clean, you have to clean in the grooves. So you'll spray on the, on the brush and just gently scrub the grooves.
This is getting time consuming. Next, you'll want to clean your leather. Same step. Begin by spraying it on the towel. Search for an inconspicuous spot. And again, if your towel does not turn the color of the leather, you can proceed. And if you really want to be clean, you're going to have to get into the cracks with a little brush. So we just got finished with the vacuuming, then cleaning the plastics, then cleaning the leather. And I was taking a look at the carpets and I thought, boy, anybody who's ever vacuumed their carpets, you know how dirt just kind of sticks in there. Take a look at this as I rub my hands in there. You can see that dirt just keeps coming up. So how do we get that out? We want to get this to a professional quality result. And right now, there's really only one way to do that. And that's with a hot water carpet extractor. So this tool will suck up dirt and spray cleaning detergents in while, uh, while the process is happening. Take a look. So we just got finished fully detailing the interior of this Tesla, and as you can see, it's pretty tedious and time consuming. So what we wanna do next is install Ceramic Pro interior coatings. Now these are professional use only coating, but the reason we wanna do it is so that it makes it easier for you to clean on Sundays and so that you have to do it less often. So this is Ceramic Pro Textile. It is a professional use only product, but this is your best line of defense against staining and discoloration of your carpets. So we just got done applying Ceramic Pro Textile to all of the carpets in this Tesla. And as you can see, once it's cured, it's truly magical. So there you have it, a fully detailed and protected interior of a Tesla. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video.